Hi guys, my name's Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. How do you feel about drugged fueled fantasy psychotic childhood trauma? Trick question? Bray, directed and written by Mitzi Peroni, takes you on a journey of sickening stylization, crawling down the rabbit hole, as three women tripping on drugs explore the past and a surprising conclusion. The tagline for Braid is when you wake up, do your dreams go to sleep? The horror mystery thriller stars Madeline Brewer, Imogen Waterhouse, Sarah Hay, and Scott Cohen. It's about two wanted women who are in hot water and decide to pay a visit to their childhood friend with intentions of robbing her. But in order to get what they want, they must play a twisted game of make-believe. If you're looking for a cohesive, linear storyline, you've come to the wrong place, and this movie reflects exactly what it's about within the first three minutes. The stylization is completely overwhelming, changing from black and white to neon, and also the camera techniques are very interesting. They have that follow the evil dead type scene. You know when the evil presence is leading up to the house, they do that kind of stuff. They also have these really unflattering undershots where it's kind of like a fisheye showing their warped perception. Some people misunderstood me when I was talking about unlikable characters in my Velvet Buzzsaw review. I wasn't saying that awful characters aren't warranted. I mean, Russell Hands is the reason I watch Survivor. Come on. <laughs> That easy. But evil or unlikable characters need to help move the storyline, like seen in films like The Favourite. And in The Braid, we see this in full effect. No one is particularly likable, but the trip drags you along by the piggy tails, and instead of over explaining anything, they leave it up to the audience to piece together these complicated villains. Along with the beautiful stylization, the film has amazing set design, which was very confusing to me at the start until I realized that it was meant to hold you hostage in this fairy tale because the film at its core is about how we are all playing make-believe and it shows us through its perfect aesthetic that doesn't exist in the real world but there's more to the story and like I said before you feel like you're being pulled along by the piggy tails in this drug fueled rotten art road trip but the film has something even more unexpected a very strange tentpole it's one of those films that will allow you to wonder where the end lies and I promise it's actually worth the payoff and I was very surprised by this and it bumped it up for me a little bit. I will say it was really hard to judge the acting in this film because it was so far out and they're overdoing it for the sake of overdoing it but Madeline's performance definitely stands out to me and I know you guys think I look like her, I don't know why but I'll take it and I think she shines in this performance and I'm so excited to see her do more horror roles. The thing about Braid is it's a very beautiful film and it's also not afraid to push the envelope and really go into the darkness and it gets brutal. It doesn't tippy toe around sensitive subjects or censor itself. It also doesn't over explain itself and it leaves a lot up to your own interpretation. And I have to say, as a woman almost in her 30s, I drawed a lot from the final conclusion of this film. But I can't help but think if the art department and editing was stripped away, would this be rather a bland film? And was what held my attention just all shiny, disturbing matter? This is one of those films where the visuals speak louder than any dialogue. But I will say when you discover the meaning of the film, it's very much warranted. If you are sick and twisted and down for a trip, this film is probably for you. But just remember, it is a trip, so it can be very disorientating. So make sure you strap yourself in and grab onto something stable and enjoy the ride. I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10 for personal. Uh, as I said, when it strips back, I'm not sure it has everything I needed in it, but I did like the story. Uh, I'm gonna give it an originality of 7 and a scare score of like 3. I do recommend checking out this film if you're on the edge about it because I have seen some good feedback and I think it does resonate with some audiences. Have you seen Braid? Let me know down below what you thought and if you found this helpful or you just like my reviews in general, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you haven't subscribed, do that. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Stay spooky, guys. Bye.